I'm quite late today, but I have something to say before I start. AI generated images are not very popular with conventional artists and I know it. To tell the truth, I understand it, but since there's no way back from it, let's learn how you can use this technology to speed up your process without losing your identity as an artist. Today we'll see how to use Dream Booth to recreate your own style instead of Stable Diffusion so you can make use of the ideas generated by it. And before you think, with these people can copy any style. Well, it's true, uh, but if you don't talk about it, artists will not even be aware of the possibility. So disagreeing with me or agreeing with me, the style I used here is from Tarsilia Nevis. She has an amazing work. You can check it out on the link in the description. And she authorized me to use her work here. Thank you for that, Taru. And well, I'm late again, so here we go in three, two, one. Boom. First, gather around 20 images that depicts your style the best. Go to Berm and throw all them there. Download them as a zip file. Now open the collab link in the description, press this button, choose execute anyway. Press this one, then for this one, go to the Huggy Face account, login, link in the description, click here, choose settings, access tokens, create a new token with any name with the role right or copy one that you have already. Pass it on collab and press this button. Now this other button, now choose save to Google Drive, you need a free account, click here, then allow collab to use your Google Drive, change the output here to the place where the stuff will go on the Google Drive, change the instance prompt to the name of the style you're creating, Taru style final on my case, but you can give any name. Change the class prompt to the name of something that relates to your style, like drawing, painting, art, or whatever. Uh, I use character design with an underline to separate the words. Change the instance data dir to something like taru underline dir and change the class data dir to something that represents what the class data is. Uh, click on... <coughs> Mm, I ate, ate the bug, sorry. Click this button. Now inside of the data folder, there is the folder you created for the training images. Taru underline dear in my case. Upload all the images you sent to Berm to this folder. Change the new class images to something at least above 200. Change the max training step to something around 2000. And that's basically it. Click on this button and wait until it's finished. But wait, be careful that collab may disconnect you at any time. So try to check the page often so you don't lose all the work you did. Click on FP16 and click on this button. Now our model is done. And the folder, stable diffusion weights and inside there will be a folder of the model you just made and inside of it a file named model.ckpt. Download the ckpt model, rename it to the instance prompt you created and then the class just for you to remember. In my case it was Taru style final character design. Now throw this file inside of the stable diffusion models folder. I'm using automatic 1111 so it's model slash stable diffusion. Now open your stable diffusion, select the model and now you can experiment with it. Try different ideas and change the CFG scale to see how it looks and then upscale it and use it on Photoshop or you can advance it and make it better. In the end it's your art mate. You can use stable diffusion to speed up the process so you can give more of your art to the world or refine what you did even more. Oof. If one was very long and I'm extremely late because of it, please don't hate me. Like the video if you liked it, comment below, subscribe to the channel and I see you after I find out if it's DIR or... Adios.